Nurse Hildegard Lettert, at the age of 22, entered the Majdanek concentration camp in the autumn of 1942. Immediately, she changed her medical gown for the SS matron's overalls. During the war, she also worked in the Auschwitz, Mauthausen, and Bolzano death camps. Her cruelty and sophistication of the ruthless Frau Lettert have repeatedly earned her the nickname Bloody Brigida. Hildegard, a convinced fascist, considered herself superior to concentration camp prisoners and not only morally humiliated them, but also took real pleasure in exceeding the boundaries of humanity. She became an accomplice in the murder of about 1,200 people who were persecuted only because they were not pure-blooded Germans. Having never repented of her atrocities, she indifferently listened to the testimony of witnesses and the evidence presented by the prosecutor regarding her bloody crimes. According to former concentration camp prisoner Heinrich Ostrovsky, Lehrer often flew into a rage and beat disenfranchised prisoners with a whip until they died. This sadist also tortured the workers cleaning the cesspools, and with cruel excitement took babies from their mothers, who were then sent to the gas chambers. Before you continue watching, please subscribe to my channel and like it, of course it is optional, the main thing is to be sincere. Hildegard's war crimes were first mentioned in November 1947, when a trial began in Krakow, during which she was one of 40 Nazi camp wardens who stood in the dock. This time she was found guilty of many inhuman crimes, and she was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Her sentence was commuted due to the presence of three young children. After serving only nine years of the appointed term, Lehert was released. After 19 years, she again found herself in the spotlight in the framework of the Majdanek case, which took place in Dusseldorf for five years. As a result, the judge did not grant the request of Prosecutor Wolfgang Weber for life imprisonment and handed down a sentence limiting her freedom for 12 years. However, she did not spend these years behind barbed wire, as she was credited with the time spent in a Polish prison, as well as five years of pretrial detention in West Germany. Over time, it became known that in 1956, immediately after her release from a Polish prison, Lehrt was expelled from Eastern Europe to Berlin, where she ended up in the Marienfeld Emergency Camp and was recruited by CIA agents. Lehrt's past in Nazi Germany did not confuse the CIA agents. During the Cold War, all methods of fighting were acceptable, and therefore Hildegard, a former accomplice of Hitler, whom the Polish special services wanted to attract as an informant, was hired. Receiving a good salary, she officially worked in a brothel as a janitor and unconditionally followed the requirements and instructions of the CIA in the field of security. However, in the spring of 1957, Hildegard, whose characterization indicated that she had acquired her positive qualities as an agent through training in the SS, violated the rules by appearing at the American embassy without a preliminary call and telling the staff about her secret mission. After this incident, Lehrt was transferred from the CIA to the Fed organization, which was located in West Berlin. At first she won the favor of the Germans, but was subsequently dismissed for the same reason. Hildegard Lehrt completed her bloody journey in Berlin, having died at the age of 75. Thanks for watching friends. Subscribe to our channel and like it if you like the video. See you soon.